Welcome to the Bad Cats Club where it is Halloween month. Yesterday we talked about the doll costume, death costume, and the Jason costume. And today we continue on with the last episodes dealing with your whole Halloween outfit. First off, the panda outfit. Now this is a really good costume for the girls who want to go sexy but are not really thin. The panda is cute but a little bit rounded so it won't upset if you have a little bit of a shape to you. The panda costume online goes from anywhere from $20 to $200 depending on what you're looking for. And I do recommend buying because just the fabric and the sewing and the time, it's not worth it. Just make sure you're not showing up too much and pair it with a nice mini short. And also if you get cold, a nice knee long stocking. To complete the look, you finish it off with a simple but recognizable makeup and also one of these. It's a little like sleeve thing for your leg which covers your shoe and your lower calf. But it really does make for a good nice finished look. And these are super easy to make. You just go to your local store and you get a bit of this faux fur fabric and you just cut it to length and you put in an elastic band at the top and you're good to go. Now the zombie costume is super easy. You just get a pair of old PJs that you don't need anymore and you rip it and you cut it in nice places and you smear that with some fake blood. Now fake blood, you can absolutely buy that but it's also super easy to do yourself. You just get one part water one pot flowers and you mix that up real well and you put it on the stove and you let it simmer until it's a nice thickness that, that you like and then you just add red food dye. Now what a lot of people do wrong is to make the blood too light. You want it nice and dark for a creepy realistic look. You smear that whatever you ripped your clothes maybe even on your skin and on your legs Pair that with a simple but good zombie makeup and you are good to go. The Zombie Hunter. Now this costume might be the easiest of all. You just put on whatever you feel like wearing. And you might want to make it a bit more explicit of what you are by putting on one of these. Now I got this online for like 20 bucks and really it's a, it's a good buy. But also, I had this printed online and there is a lot of places who do that for you for around 20 bucks again. So it's not a very big cost and it's totally worth it. And if any of these shirts are not for you, just pair that with a really nice zombie ear necklace a la Walking Dead and people will know what you are. Now, you can buy these already ready-made online, but also you can go down to your local store and get some fake ears, just shred them on a string, or if you don't even want to do that, you can just make them yourself out of hobby clay and tread those on and you're good to go. Pair that with a kick-ass weapon, like a nice BB gun, or a fake samurai sword, and you are good to go. My only tip here is really make sure whatever props you have that are big and bulky have a strap so they're easy for you to carry around. I am Dolly Kissy, this is the Bad Cuts Club and welcome to Halloween.